Hi everyone, this is Shane R. Monroe. Today we're going to install Overwatch and the Battle.net desktop app as a Steam OS item inside of your Steam Deck. Go ahead and download the Battle.net setup tool. Save that to your downloads folder for easy access. All right, go ahead and add a non-Steam game. We're gonna hit browse and we're gonna to navigate to our downloads folder, which is our home deck. Downloads, change applications to all files, find Battle.net setup, and add selected programs. You'll now see it here installed locally. Bring it up, hit the gear, properties. And the important part here is we need to use Proton 7.02. You must use this version to install Battle.net and Overwatch first. We can change Proton versions later. We're gonna go ahead and run it for our initial Battle.net setup. Go ahead and follow the standard prompts. Okay, I would just go ahead and uncheck launching Battle.net when you start your computer. Just can only cause trouble here. Leave everything defaulted. Don't try to change the folder or anything, leave it alone. It seems to be very important to Overwatch. Okay, Battle.net will get itself all installed up. And we'll go ahead and close Steam because with Steam open, it tends to monkey with these uh, overlays for third-party launchers. We're gonna go ahead and log in. I would definitely check mark uh, keep me logged in. I know a lot of people don't like to stay logged in, but I'll tell you, it'll, it'll just save you a lot of hate and discontent later. Okay, so uh, we don't need to go locate anything right now because we're gonna install Overwatch clean. So we can go ahead and close this. All right, I don't need a tour of Battle.net. I've installed it many times. Thank you so much. Okay, first thing we need to do is just go start to Overwatch downloading because this is going to take a while. So click on the Overwatch icon, hit install, but make sure you don't run it when you're done. This is very important. Go ahead and uh, leave this as default. My, please don't change it or you're going to break stuff. Uncheck create desktop shortcut. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Shane, this means it's going to install it on my internal storage, and that is correct. Um, I have not, uh, it, it seems to be a little sketchy moving it around. So while we're waiting um, for the download to happen, we're going to go ahead and on game launch, we want to make sure we exit completely from Battle.net, both when we close it and when we launch a game, because it will interfere with the game if it's still running in the background. Okay, we skipped the whole install. Lucky you. Um, but please don't hit play yet. We're ready to keep going here and finish up this configuration. So we're gonna go ahead and close this, reopen Steam, and eventually that stop will uh, turn back into play again. You should probably wait for it. I got a little impatient, but by the time I hit stop and uh, hit stop and I canceled it, it was already done. So you can just wait. Okay, a couple things we need to do now is go back to our properties and change our uh, compatibility to Proton 7-14. This seems to work very, very well. If you don't have Proton QT, get it from the Discover Store on uh, your desktop on Steam Deck. We're gonna go ahead and rename this because it's not an installer anymore, it's actually Battle.net, and we're gonna browse and go find the Battle.net EXE. Compat data is a folder you're gonna be using a lot, so add it to your uh, places. We're gonna go ahead, this is the location of it, we're gonna go ahead and find the last Proton folder that was made, which is right here drill ourselves into where I believe Battle.net's installed. We're gonna copy that path, and we're going to put it right here. Okay, so we're all good here. We've got everything set up. We should be ready to go ahead and play now. We do have one more step, so I don't think you're done yet. We do have to go into the game itself and make a couple of changes. And so, uh, yeah, don't you don't have to keep hitting play even though it rolls back to play. I know, just click it once, it'll start up. 
Okay, we're ready to actually jump in and play now. At this point in time, we have Battle.net and Overwatch installed, and we are on GE Proton 7-14. Everything will run groovy. We only have a couple of changes to make inside of Overwatch, and we can be done with this part of the video. A um, couple of uh, video tweaks we need to make for maximum potential here. So go ahead and... Uh, move yourself down to options. It's already on video. We're going to want to go to um, our display mode and go to borderless window. I would recommend changing your resolution to something Steam Deck friendly. Apply it, and we are ready to leave. That's it. Overwatch is ready to play. Now remember, Overwatch does have to build shaders as you play. There's going to be uh, some, some stuttering each time you play the first map. The first time you play each map, uh, this is totally normal and will smooth up. Now, little bonus. We're going to add a game that I've already downloaded and it's sitting on my SD card. To do that, we need to add a launch option to the Battle.net. I'm going to give you the text in the description down below. Paste that in there. And now when we launch Battle.net, we'll have access to our micro SD card where I have Call of Duty Black Ops 4 already sitting there from a previous install, I can now link back up and not have to download it again. I know what you're thinking, Shane, why didn't we install Overwatch on the SD card instead of on the internal storage? That would have been so much better. For some reason, Overwatch needs to be where it is. Um, so I'm not gonna argue, it works. We're gonna go ahead and go in here and scan for games. We're gonna hit locate. And this navigation here, Sometimes uh, the, the keyboard overlay will jump up in front of you. Again, I recommend using a real keyboard and mouse. Okay, we've navigated to the SD card. Look at that, there it is. Found it right off the bat. Perfect. Now, instead of downloading another 80 gigabytes or whatever it is, it just needs to do a quick little update and I am ready to go. There you go. So now we have a perfectly working Overwatch. We have the ability to um, Maybe put some of these games on our micro SD card or external storage device, and uh, we're in good shape. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. Thanks for watching.